Okay, it's a rainy day, uh, it's actually storming outside, and uh, I don't have much else to do, so this knife is the second knife I ever made. I made it out of a lawnmower, and I've got a video up uh, of the actual making of this knife a few years ago, and it came back to me for a spa treatment. Um, it's been fine, you know, everything's worked, the edge is still really good. Um, you know, a couple years of use, it's, yeah, it's shaving. Um, so there's still, shaves with difficulty, but it's still okay. Um, guy's been using it for a couple years. And uh, one thing that happened over those couple years is right here where the scale meets the tang, um, some of the epoxy came out of there. So he wondered what I could do for that. And I said, well, why don't I just uh, replace the scales and give it like a little spa treatment. So I'm gonna do that. Um, the problem is is that the tang in this area is thinner and it kind of jumps out of the way, juts out of the way there. Uh, and at the time I didn't have a grinder powerful enough to grind that flat and so I just filled it with epoxy and the epoxy came out. Um, but the handle scales are just fine. Um, these, these pins, I, uh, they're basically brass and then I uh, countersunk and then hammered them into the countersink so that they're flat and that the handle is actually pinched onto theirs. Well, so I drilled and drilled and drilled and I got one of the pins out with a, a hammer and a uh, punch and I was working on the rest of them. My next door neighbor came over. He said, well, come on over and use my 20 ton uh, hydraulic jack press. So that made quick work of that, got these pins out um, no problem, but again, the, it takes a big effort to get this, get these apart. So it's a sound method of uh, making your handles. And then I think we put enough pressure on it that, you know, this one just wants to come right off. Um, we'll see if the other one will. Maybe not. I might have to get a screwdriver and try this one. See what this does if it wants to come up. Seems to. There it goes. And just wanted to point out that this is after two years of use in the American South where it's hot and humid and this thing's been put through the ringer and there's no rust. Um, and that was the main purpose of the epoxy was just to seal this off so that water and stuff wouldn't get in there and potentially rust this. Another problem I found when I got this apart is that it's not, um, it's not there's a little bit of a curve to the handle. It's slight, but it's there. And I'm gonna take that out of there. Now, um, I'm not sure if I got that in there when I was pressing this out or what, um, or more than likely, I kinda left it this way when I made it because I didn't know this trick that I'm about to show you. It doesn't take much, and you can, you can take the curve out of that. Now you're like, well, okay, so you did it there, but as soon as you take the pressure off, it's gonna snap right back. Well, now here's this one weird trick. Uh, I'm gonna take this and put it in the oven at 400 for an hour, and then that'll re, hopefully, reset this in a little bit more flat position. So I got it out of the oven, took the clamps off, and it's, it's pretty darn flat. I mean, there's a little bit of rock to it, but I mean, by and large, this is pretty darn good. Oh yeah. You like it? Oh yeah, that's perfect. Deep, deep, deep uh, mark there. Good. Now I'm gonna do the double O, I think. That Just cause, uh, I didn't didn't get this done on on the first one because I didn't have it. So we'll put a double gotcha. O there for him. I did a differential heat treat on this blade. I'm not going to show how I did that. Uh, now it's time to cut out some scales here and get them drilled and get everything started.
So here it is, all finished up, and I think it's probably shaving sharp. Yep. Um, has a proven track record, pretty good little knife, and with the new handle, new heat treat, differential heat treat and everything, and new edge, I'm sure he'll be pretty happy with it. This, um, pretty important little knife for me because it eventually led to this. So, uh, you know, I incorporated a bunch of things that I learned from making these out of lawnmower blades into making them out of known steel. And someday I'll make a few of these available, but not yet. <laughs>